this is a video review that, uh, kind of retro, kind of fun, um, kind of surprising even to me. Like, I was just kind of dinking around on eBay last week, and just weirdly on a whim, decided to look up and see if there are any of these guys for sale, and found a set for a really nice price, um, and picked them up, but it is, uh, GoBots, a uh, puzzler. Um, one of the first combiners came out the same, maybe even a year before, if you count the original Machine Robo release. Um, but from the same, same year as Devastator. And that's really important to keep in mind as we're building this, because, you know, like, Devastator had his own, G1 Devastator had his own issues as well. But there's some really neat stuff going on with these guys. Like, like I said, it was kind of on a whim, and I'm like, why did I do that? And now that, now that I did, I'm really, really glad that I did, because they're a lot of fun. I remember having this guy, Crossword, the orange guy. Orange is one of my favorite colors, if it's not my actual favorite color. Um, so now you learned something about me. But uh, I, I remember having him as a kid, and I had one of the feet guys. I think it was, I think it was uh, Zigzag here, the blue foot guy. But I only had two of these guys as a kid. But you got Rube, uh, Zigzag, Tic Tac, Jigsaw, Pocket, and Crossword. So... All various types of puzzles or puzzle games. Obviously, Rube, short for Rubik's Cube. Tic-Tac, short for Tic-Tac-Toe. Jigsaw Crossword, you know, are pretty explainable by themselves. So, uh, so yeah, I got these guys, and for GoBots, for 30-year-old toys, they're insanely fun. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they're, they're not, I mean, they're GoBots, so you're, we're not looking for, like, massive, awesome transformations here. You know, they take the orange Porsche, you bring his legs down, you pull his arms out the side here if we can get him going there we go uh, flip his head around split his legs apart dun, 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 dun. okay look there's there's crossword nothing nothing to write home about but he transforms into a robot we'll do the same thing here with a tic tac flip his legs around they slop up into there. I had to tighten some of the joints on these. They were really loose, some of them, but otherwise in great shape. Like the guy was saying, uh, these guys had some scuffs on their roof and they didn't actually have scuffs on their roof. What they had was like a little bit of sticker residue from a sticker that wasn't supposed to be there. And it, I just went like with a fingernail and the scuffs on the roof were magically gone. So that was a, a cool little bonus. Bring these out, pull the arms out here. Um, yeah, he's got, he's got little, little dinky arms here. But uh, there's Tic Tac in robot mode. Pocket, who is very Sunstreaker-esque. Uh, he transforms very much like uh, Crossword over here, doesn't he? And I guess you, you could leave him leave, leave the yellow part out as well. But uh, flip his head over. Pull the arms out. And you notice, like, even... He even has the... Uh, the basic head design, same basic head design as Sunstreaker with the head wings and everything. So yeah, you can you can choose to leave them like this if you want. Uh, flip the legs around. I like to flip the legs around just as an extra part of transformation, but you're welcome to do it however you wish. Um, I, th I think officially this may actually be supposed to be his transformation. We'll, we'll leave him like that as we transform these others. Like, what does he look like with this in front? Yeah, so see, either way. They look good. Jigsaw, same basic transformation. Flip his legs down and around here until they snap back into place. Pull his arms out. You want to lift them up like that and rotate them around. Bring his shoulders up. There's Jigsaw. Rube, again, you just pull the pull this down. Flip the, the wheels back and the feet. Now these you do rotate at the waist. Uh, pull his arms out and pull, pop his head up. His head doesn't want to stay all the way up. But there's a uh, Rube as a robot. Yeah. And I do kind of like how the tires, as, as they fold out, flip out to form the heels and support them. That's kind of cool. And much like uh, these two that transform very similarly, uh, zigzags the same way. You pull his... Oh, come on. Oh, right. Really? Oh, wow. I forgot that. Just came down. Pull his legs out. Uh, rotate him around at the waist. Flip the, pull the arms out. Yeah, come on. Come on, arms. There we go. This guy's really a lot stiffer than the other ones. There we go. And get his head up. 
and there you are. And there are all of them in robot mode. And like I said, they're GoBots, so visually they're not quite as impressively robotic as some of the Transformers of the time. But uh, but I really love their big feet. These guys kind of look like uh, not Jumpstart Throttlebots with these giant feet here. And, and in color scheme wise, you see a lot of the Throttlebot colors uh, represented here, which is why which is why I'm saying with that that Throttlebot co supposedly combiner from. Uh, uh, Toy World, the uh, the the Aurora and uh, what's the other one, uh, Grindrod. I, I just feel like that combiner is going to be va vaguely puzzler esque, um, but we'll see. Because yes, I said combiner. Um, so here they all are in robot mode, and uh, and what's neat about this is you flip them around here, uh, rotate the legs around this way, and that allows them to flip around, flip this peg out, and then come down here when the legs are pegged together, flip out his fist. Um, now the arms can come like this, they're a little wobbly down here at the bottom, I like to collapse the arms up, it makes them look a little better in combined mode and keeps some of the wobble down, but I, I think officially the mode's supposed to be like this, and it does give him, uh, to some degree, some elbows. Uh, oh, I thought these, is that all the way down? Ah, well, whatever. But yeah, so here, here he is. Um, so we'll put that off to the side. Pocket, it, again, the arms transform the same way, you get him mostly into car mode, rotate the legs around, flip him over the cab, flip this peg out. And then down here in the feet, flip the fist out. And again, you've got another, you've got the right arm. And then you, they do have a thumb here. Now the feet, you just rotate back around to car mode and just push these up together. Oh, but we don't push the arms in first. Like that. Leave this, uh, leave the head up. But it looks just like that. There's one foot. Alright, that same thing, rotate the arms around, collapse them up, leave the head up, and you're ready to go there. Uh, jigsaw. Now he's a little weird. You bring him down like this, the arms are like this, bring the legs out to the side here, and then fold them down at this joint right up against the body. Uh, just like that. And these the arms, since they can't sit in their regular vehicle mode position, I don't think they can, can they? Um, no. Yeah, to slide them back, you have to they, they take up the spot where the leg would have to be, so you kind of have to just leave them hanging in this weird position. I like to slide them back against, just to back against the legs there, just to give them some coherence. But, uh, but yeah, just, just like that. You kind of just squat over like that. And then, uh, tic-tac, you want to take this metal piece, this little rim here, lift it up, and then you take, put your arms in, but you want, you want to leave the, the, the silver parts out and fold uh, his legs up like this. I just tra basically transform him back into car mode here, slide his legs up. And then w once you have his arms out and this little metal piece out, you want to fold them in half. And this metal piece comes down over these uh, over the exhaust pipe areas and clips into place. And that helps hold his body together. And then you just plug the hands here into the slots on the side. And you can see there is the torso. He's got a very tiny head, but it is a head. So now to assemble him, let's see, we've got the feet here. The heads of these robots just slide up into here and just are held by friction, but held really well. I mean, like they're, they're solid. They're not going to come loose unless you really, really give them a good shaking like that. And there you have the lower half of Puzzler. And you come up here and when you, when you, Tighten him together. There's actually a, it's hard to see, but there actually is kind of a, a shaped divot there for these hexagonal posts. So you take these and you just kind of line them up with that and snap them into place. You heard it snap into place, and that gives him some articulated, uh, jointed, ratcheting arm movement, which is nice. Same over here. And then you just take these two holes right here and put them right on the light post on top of Jigsaw. You put those. You put those on there, and then you want to come back here. This make sure this goes all the way down behind that light post and kind of snaps in. There's no like obvious clip, but it's a lot more solid if you make sure that the light post goes on the back of the car. Now he doesn't fall apart. And there is Puzzler combined. And like I said, he's not by t especially by today's standards, he's not something that's going to go. Wow, what a robot! 
But when you consider that this guy came out the same year as Devastator, is uh, completely self-contained as a combiner, has the posability it does. You know, you got some movement here at the shoulders. Uh, you, get, you got the elbow. You can kind of do some elbow movement here at the arms. Uh, I just like to pop off that. Movement of the arms, uh, the shoulder movement, uh, some rotation here. Um, the self-contained fists, um, and even the way the light bar attaches to the top of Jigsaw where you attach him, it gives him a waist swivel. You can actually swivel him at the waist. And then the feet are very flat and solid and, and keep him upright. So you've got a lot of posability in this self-contained toy for, that came out, like I said, and, and I know I've said it several times already in this thing, but it came out the same time Devastator did. And so uh, just retroactively looking at that, it's kind of cool. This arm just does not want to stay up. I don't know why. Suddenly it's trying to be a pain in my butt. Um, kind of. Yeah, for some reason, uh, zigzag is, doesn't want to stay straight as Rube. But, uh, but yeah, he's remarkably fun. And he does have a little bit of a pointy car uh, area here. <laughs> but... Uh, Really, when it comes down to it, he's really not any any weirder than all the extra pieces you had to snap onto Devastator. And uh, and again, you don't have any extra pieces to snap on. You don't have any pieces to lose when he's not in a combiner mode. Plus, he's plastic and metal. He's very solid and heavy, um, and just really cool. I'm glad I bought him. I was, it was totally a whim, and I I, I went click and I clicked buy it now, and I paid for it. And I'm like, well, that wasn't a bad deal for that. And then over the next couple of days, I'm like, oh, man, I bought GoBots. I remember GoBots, and I remember having some, and they were fun. But, uh, wow. I mean, like I, I, like I said, I don't mind. I mean, like, if, you, if you look at it from the right angle, this really does stick out quite a bit. It doesn't bother me. I just think he looks cool. He looks cool from the back. I think that's just a neat color profile with all the robots. And, you know, he looks like a robot from the back. Um yeah, hunt him down if you find him. Like, because like, you should find him for not. Like I said, I found a set not all that expensive. If you want a mint on card, you're gonna pay. Like, I found a set that was like all six of them mint on card, and it was like two hundred bucks or something like that. And uh, I think that's maybe a little bit more. I mean, you are getting, I guess, mint, getting a mint on card, but like that's more than I'd be willing to pay for him. Uh, well, maybe, but uh, if you get him for around like forty, fifty, I mean, I've seen him up to like sixty, seventy bucks, loose, complete. Totally worth checking out. I mean, like, he really is worth checking out at some point because he's a lot of fun. But there it is, uh, GoBots Puzzler.